<laughs> in today's video, we are going to be reviewing three products from the Talia Wahi Green Apple and Aloe with Coconut line. I have the Nutrition Leave-In Conditioner. I have the Nutrition Curl Definer. And I have the um, Nutrition Hold Me Down Jelly. I have heard great things about this line. So I am very excited to try these products. Um, so without a further ado, if you want to see how these products work on my hair, just continue watching. Okay, you guys, I already have the Talia Wahid Green Apple and Aloe with Coconut Nutrition Leave-In Conditioner in my hair. This conditioner is said that it can be a leave-in conditioner, a deep conditioner, um, used for daily styling and to refresh curls. So today, I decided to try it as a deep conditioner and a leave-in, a two-in-one. So with that being said, I um, I am gonna maybe play some clips somewhere where I was detangling my hair with this product, uh, where I was putting it in as a deep conditioner for my hair. As you can see, I'm using my hot head to deep condition. I'm already done with that. I think I've been deep conditioning for maybe 30 minutes now. And this is what my hair is looking like. Um, so let me see. I don't plan on, um, I don't plan on adding any more of the leave-in into my hair. So hopefully, just from, I'm feeling my hair now. Um, honestly, I mean, it's all right. I mean, I feel like it would be great as a leave-in. As far as a deep conditioner, I like my deep, deep, condition, deep conditioners to be thick um, and weigh my hair down. Um, this does not do that. Does my hair feel moisturized? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Do I feel like I would leave this? Do I feel like I would use this as a leave-in? No. I mean, as a deep conditioner? No. Now, if I, now if I was busy one day and I had somewhere to go and I really want to use these products because they gave me a great wash and go, then yeah, I would. You know, I would skip the deep conditioning and just use it. If, like I said, if I was in a rush, but if I had a choice to choose between the leave-ins that I, I mean, the deep conditioners that I like to use and this as a deep conditioner, I would not use this as a deep conditioner. But as far as the leave-in, I mean, I think that it's doing its job. So let's go ahead and get started with the other two products. I was hoping that the fact that it could be used as a deep conditioner would, you know, cut back a step. In my process, I mean, my hair feels moisturized. I can't, you know, I can't knock that. I just like my deep conditioners to be a little bit thicker. So I think it's about preference. Uh, like I said, do I think my hair is moisturized? I do think my hair is moisturized. I just don't think I would use this as a deep conditioner. A leave-in? Yes. Deep conditioner? No. Um, I have actually had products, other products that I felt were better leave-ins in my hair. Um, that I felt made my hair a little bit, felt felt more moisturizing, moisturizing on my hair. So, but I'm not knocking the product. I feel like my hair is moisturized. It's doing what it says it's supposed to do. So, first we're going to go in with the green Apple and aloe with coconut nutrition curl definer. Let me show you what that looks like. It is a thick product. She is not going anywhere. <laughs> She's thick. She's very thick. So we're gonna go with go in with that. I might need to just pull that section down and go on it with the section. Then I'm gonna go on top of that with the hold me down jelly. Now this is you know what I heard was a great product. As you can see, it's clear. She's thick too. I love thick. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Give me the thick hat tag. Give me the thick. Give me that thick. Hey, hey, hey. Give me that thick. Hey, hey. Give me that thick. Hey, hey. All right. So, <laughs> like I said, 
I'm gonna go in with the, cause I can't remember the name, the curl defining. I'm just gonna put um, this on like the big, the big sections, and then I'm gonna go in the smaller sections with with my um, with the jelly. So let me go ahead and comb this in, or detangle it so that it can get on all my strands. As you guys can see, I am feeling a little bit better. Hey, now I got over the sinus. Then after I had did the sinus thing, I had got some kind of cold stuff going on. I said, what is going on here? All right, so. That product is clumping my curls really good, but I don't want to use too much because I watched somebody's video and they were saying they might have used too much of the definer. So I don't want to use too much of the definer. So then I'm about to go in with the jelly. I don't know how this is going to work, you know, but we're going to try it and see. See how it does. I may shingle my hair. Go on it with my roots. Because you know my hair, honey, be adding up sometimes. Then we won't do right. So, we gonna shingle through some mess. Well, I ain't gonna call it no mess, but you know what I mean. That's what my hair is looking like, you guys. So I'm about to speed the video up. Just keep watching. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to come back and let you guys see what it looks like before I stretch. Because, you know, natural hair is totally different. Um, you know, right after it's dry versus... Um, <laughs> versus when it is stretched because I used to watch like natural hair videos and I used to be like my hair is not coming out like that and then come to find out these people were stretching it like using heat to stretch their hair and stuff and I was like I mean now they would say that they had fluffed and did all this stuff but it was like one point in time where I was like how are they getting their hair look like that like why do mine look so crunchy and I don't know not fluffy and these people have looking all good and stuff come to find out they were dang on <laughs> using a blow dryer to uh <laughs> fluff their hair which is all fine and dandy but I just felt like they weren't telling me something you know I was like something is missing so that's what was missing but anywho I'll be back let you guys see what my hair looks like. So just keep watching. Right, as you know, I did deep condition with the green apple and aloe leave-in conditioner. Um, like I said before, I don't think I will deep condition with this again. But as far as a leave-in, I think that it is a great leave-in. It left my hair very moisturized. So I do recommend the leave-in. And then next, I went in with the curl definer. It says it creates long-lasting, more defined curls, fortified with vitamins, fiber, and protein. It also says that it um, has coconut oil. This product here, um, I don't feel like it was as moisturizing as the leave-in conditioner and the hold-me-down jelly. I felt like the hold-me-down jelly was actually more moisturizing than this curl definer. Um, but I did think that it had my curls popping. So if I had to recommend this product over the jelly, I think I would recommend the jelly. I mean, if you want to try this product, it may be good for your hair. I just don't think it did too much for my hair. Now, like I said, my hair was popping. My curls were defined. So I'm thinking that that is, I mean, that, that is what it says it does. It creates longer lasting, more defined curls. 
I don't see anything where it says about hydration. So <laughs> with that being said, it actually did what it was supposed to. And then the start of the show was the hold me down jelly is alcohol free, flake free, add shine, extra hold, smooth, strong and sleek with no build up and no hard hair. Now I can attest to this. My hair was not hard at all, but it looked like it had a cast on it, but it was, it, it had no crunch. It was so soft. It felt so moisturized. So the, um, al the apple and aloe hold me down jelly is a great product. I really do really, really, really like it, and I really recommend it. So out of all three products, I would probably repurchase the Hold Me Down Jelly. I could probably do it out of the other two, but I did like the, the leave-in. All right, y'all. So today is the next day, and this is what my hair is looking like. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys see what my hair was looking like. Um, I slept in, look at that girl. <laughs> I slept on my hair last night. That's why I was looking so rough. I didn't use, <laughs> I did not stretch it. I didn't use any bands. I didn't do anything. I just went to bed. <laughs> um, I did put this bonnet on, bonnet on, but that was to go to Walmart. I mean, you know, yes, I wear bonnets out. I don't care. So, yeah, get over it. But I'm about to stretch it. And I will come back and let you guys see the final results. All right, you guys, so I'm back. <clears throat> this is what my hair, <clears throat> this is what my hair is looking like, um, fluffed. And I didn't pick it, I kind of went in with my fingers. So yeah, this is this is what my results are looking like. I'm really liking it. Um, So the Talia Waheed Green Apple, the, uh, curl definer, the jelly, and the leave-in. They're great products. Um, did, like I said, I would not use the leave-in as a deep conditioner because I like my deep conditioner to be a little on the thicker side, but that's just my preference. If you want to try this line and see if the leave-in would be a great alternative to a deep conditioner, by all means, try it out. Um, the smell great smell just like apples i have no complaints there it's not too much it's not too little it's just right the <clears throat> i did felt like the jelly <clears throat> gave me more of a um felt more moisturized to me than the um definer which is why i would probably not use a definer on its own um the leave-in it was a leave-in i felt like you know it did moisturize my hair i have had other leave-ins that moisturize my hair a little bit better or what I felt moisturize my hair a little bit better. But at this point, like my hair is moisturized. It's no doubt my hair is moisturized. So um, I could, I, I don't have any flakes. My hair is moisturized. I don't have my hair dry with no cast on it. Like I had no cast, but the definition was there. So I have nothing but good things to say about those three. I did not try the shampoo, but the three products that I did try, Y'all need to go out and try them because Talia Wahi did her thing with the apple, okay? She did her thing with the apple. Okay, so I'm done. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below in the comments. If you like this video or any content about, you know, hair, give me a big thumbs up and just subscribe. The link is below. It's red, square, or whatever. I don't even know if it's a square, but it says subscribe. Click the subscribe button and subscribe to me. And until next time, I'll holler at you later. Peace.